So this is the varis needle. It is available in three sizes. 12 cm, 10 cm and 8 cm. 12 is for the obese abdominal wall and 8 is for the thin ladies. So the, the parts. It has, this is the outer one. The outer one has a hollow and the tip has a sharp beveled edge. You can see this. Sharp beveled edge. This is the outer hollow needle. The inner one has a spring here. This is called the obturator with a subterminal opening. You can see the opening here through which the pneumoperitoneum can be created. So once and there is a, this is when you put this in this direction, that means it is open. When you turn it around this way, that means it is closed. So this is the open one, which is perpendicular. And here is a hub where the, you can attach a needle or the carbon dioxide gas is attached to this hub. So now, now let's assemble this. Thank you. Assembled it, the outer hollow one with a sharp edge and then the inner one has a blunt end with a terminal opening. The, we'll check for the spring action. Yes. So when you pierce the abdominal wall, because of the spring action, immediately the sharp end it goes back and the blunt end comes forward so that the injuries to the underlying structures are prevented. So how do we know that we have entered the peritoneal cavity safely? So there is a double click test. That is when we pierce the rectus sheath, we get we appreciate one click and the second click we appreciate when we pierce the peritoneum. That is called the double click test. Then second is the aspiration test. 5 ml of saline is taken and you attach to the hub and you inject it. There will be a free flow of saline and when you aspirate you will not be able to aspirate if the needle, the various needle is placed successfully in the peritoneum, peritoneal cavity. Say suppose you aspirate blood that means you have injured a vessel. Say suppose you have aspirating yellowish fluid that means you have perforated the bowel so that's the importance of the aspiration test the third test would be hanging drop test you just leave a drop of saline over the hub and when you lift the abdominal wall because of the negative pressure the drop gets sucked in so that is another test which tells us that we have placed the needle in the, inside the peritoneal cavity and the best test and the best test is the negative pressure or low pressure when the monitor is showing a less pressure or negative pressure less than 10 mm of mercury that is the sure test which says that the needle has been placed successfully intraperitoneal.